Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Church of the Holy Spirit and the Eucharistic celebration of the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Often we feel that our faith is weak, unable to overcome all our doubts or give us the confidence to face our trials. Jesus' closest friends, his apostles, may have felt the same way as, as today when we hear them ask him to increase their faith. Jesus responds by issuing them a challenge, telling them that even a small amount of faith has the power to do great things. Let us accept that challenge today, recognizing our faith, however uncertain, has brought us here in the first place to worship the Lord and celebrate the Eucharist. Announcements. Wednesday devotions for the month of October are at Holy Trinity Church at 3 p.m. Please come together with your community to enjoy this half-hour devotion with song and prayer. A rosary-making class will be held on Saturday, October 15th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the meeting room of the Holy Trinity Parish Office Building. All ages are welcome. Please register by calling the parish office or contacting Veronica Quinn for more information. The Holy Trinity Rosary Society will hold their monthly meeting on Tuesday, October 18th at 11 a.m. in the Parish Center at Holy Trinity. New members are always welcome. 33 Days to Morning Glory, a video discussion program will be held on Saturday mornings from 10 to 12 p.m. beginning on October 22nd at Holy Trinity. More details can be found in the bulletin. The joint men's group will resume their monthly dinners beginning October 25th at Holy Trinity Parish Hall. Social hour begins at 5 p.m. and dinner will be served at 6 p.m. A guest speaker will follow dinner. Tickets will be sold after all masses at both parishes the weekends of October 16th and 23rd. The menu will consist of pizza, and pasta, and dessert. Tickets are $10 with, with beer, wine, and soda sold separately. Please silence all cell phones and other devices that may disturb our liturgy. Our celebrant today is Father Matt. I ask you now to please rise and greet those members of God's family present.
name of the Father, through the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon. And thank you for joining us today for our liturgy as we celebrate the 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And so at this time we gather our thoughts, mindful of many ways God has blessed us, and also mindful of ways that we could have responded more strongly to our baptismal call. Lord Jesus, we raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to the last in life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray in all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and trains with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of Elisha, the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean of his leprosy. <laughs> Naaman returned with his old retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before Elisha and said, now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Please accept a gift from your servant. Elisha replied, As the Lord lives whom I serve, I will not take it. And despite Naaman's urging, he still refused. Naaman said, If you will not accept, please let me, your servant, have two mule bones of earth. For I will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any other God except to the Lord. The word of the Lord.
reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, a descendant of David, such as my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains, like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. The word of the Lord. So anyways, throughout, throughout the diocese, this weekend is Stewardship Weekend, and then I thank you so much for your generosity. Both of our linked parishes are very generous. You are so kind in giving and, and sacrificing, and I'm very grateful for that, I truly am. And I use the word sacrifice intentionally because it is a reminder that you are giving what you could use for something you might enjoy, and you are giving to the church and trusting that it is both a practical and spiritual gift that God uses to help the church be able to, um, to do its good and holy um, and, and, and very needed work. And there's also always a spiritual component to it as well, because 
when we offer all that we have back to God, we understand that it is God who gave us um, these gifts in the first place, our, our gifts of, of money that help us to provide for ourselves. When we give back, we are saying, thank you, Lord, for giving these to me, and I trust that this will go to where it needs to in order to do your will for our earth. And in particular, for stewardship weekends, we are all, all pastoral leaders who are asked to talk about the, we are asked to talk about the Diocese and Appeal. Now, you might remember in years past, it was referred to as the Bishop's Appeal. Now it is the Diocese and Appeal. It has been recently renamed, and it's a good thing because it helps to more accurately describe where the money goes to. On a funny note, I always thought Bishop's Appeal was like a tier. Does it pay for the bishop to go golfing, or is it, you know, yeah, it's a Bishop's Appeal, like a little go tier? Because it, it's kind of misleading. <laughs> it's like, no, no, it's not for the bishop to go and use to, okay, if you like the tank, catch your Broadway show tonight, guess where I'm going to get the money? When the Bishop's Appeal, ha ha ha. And then, and then and then getting back to the, back to the, the subject here at hand. Um, every parish of the diocese is, is assessed, um, is, is, has an assessment that it has to be able to provide either through direct gifts, through pledges, or if the church is not able to provide directly from pledges or gifts, then the church has to take from its limited resources, its limited savings to to pay for it. And so I'm so grateful that between our linked parishes last year, we were able to make our assessment, which is really, again, it's a testimony to your generosity. I'm very thankful for that. Um, so, in any event, I'm sure many of you, like me, we received our um, Diocese of Appeal literature as well as envelopes that were that it helped us to direct our attention to what we can do this year. The appeal used to run from shortly after after Easter until the following March. Because of the pandemic from 2020, it now runs on a, on a fiscal calendar schedule. So it runs from July 1st of this year to June 30th of next year. And the reason we wait until October is because to actually kickstart the, uh, the drive, you might say, is because we figured that most parishioners are, are back in the routines from the start of the school year, and this is a good opportunity to try to reach as many people as possible. And so, um, last year we made our assessment, and so very grateful for that. And this year, our this year our assessment for Holy Spirit Church is is thirty four thousand five hundred eighty dollars. And, and yes, it is a slight increase. Last year our assessment was thirty one thousand fourteen, and so it is now thirty four thousand five hundred eighty. And the reason the number um, is given to assigned to us is because it is uh, it is reflection of the offertory. It's also a reflection of other income that comes in. And so, what, so what this means is that yes, in the past we've done well in meeting our assessment. And I thank you for that. And with your assistance, we'll all be able to meet our our, our um, assessment for this year. Now, as far as how we give, there are various ways to do that. So, if you received your envelope in the mail already, if you have not already, then you can, when you feel the time is right, you can pray about it, and you can either write a check, or you can, or you can send a request, gift reminders throughout the year, and have them sent to you, you can send that in the mail. In the stewardship office down at the Diocese and Pastoral Center, they are processing all of that. Or if you, of course, require assistance, feel free to play to call.
call either parish office or um, and, and if that's needed, we can help walk you through the process. And, and so the way that the way it works is the process has been streamlined over the years from giving everything directly to the parish, to have the parish take care of it, to now sending the information, whether it's your envelope and then also to your either your check or the desire to have gift reminders. That's that that takes place between um, ourselves as individuals and the diocese and stewardship office. And so, just as an example of giving, over the years, I've, I've always tried to increase, even just like a little bit, what I give. And, and so this year, I, I'm fortunate that I was given the opportunity to give a gift of $430. I chose to do it as a one-time gift because, personally, I don't really like having um, those little nagging reminders come in the month, come in the mail every couple of months. I'd rather just get it over with. And, and, and Shot. And plus, I also like to get my. And plus, I also like to be able to get the points on my credit card. So there's that option too. So you can give either with your credit card or with a check. It's there. There are options there. If you choose to give gifts of stock, that option is also available, and you can contact the number that is on the envelope. Speaking of the envelope, if for whatever reason you did not receive one, we do have them conveniently at all three entrances here of the church, and you can pick up your envelope there, and you can be able to take an accompanying sheet that explains that yes, um, this is for the Holy Spirit, or if you want to receive an envelope and paperwork for Holy Trinity, we have them available at the entrances, exits for Holy Trinity. So we have them in the respective churches. And, and so again, I thank you so much for your consideration. I thank you for, for prayerfully giving. If you're interested, okay, so where exactly does the money go? Um, the information about that can be found online, and I'll share it briefly with you right now where it goes. For more information, you can always go to either parish website, the information is located there. It's also located on our respective parish Facebook pages. I've been kind of busy with the this past week online as far as like getting the sure that's up there because I do want to make sure that it's there um, if you want to know more about it. Where it goes to is it provides the necessary financial resources for parishes to be able to do the work that we need to do. It provides the framework we need. So for instance, on a daily basis, if our linked parish on business operations manager needs assistance either with um, how using the, the what's called the PDS ledger, the parish database software ledger, she is able to call and receive assistance from Sister Teresa, who is very helpful at the, in the finance office. If there are questions regarding keeping up with the latest human resource, requirements, either I or the, or the parish business manager can call down at the HR office or email them. For faith formation, we're blessed with an amazing program our parish should share. There is, again, a framework for support services down at the diocese and pastoral center that assists us with that. Holy Holy Trinity's website is maintained by the diocesan IT office. There really are so many services that we do depend upon that help us in order to provide the best services we can to you. And so I'm grateful for that. Uh, the Diocese of Hill also provides assistance when, when we have building projects that are churches. So for instance, you might recall how, how we've had the new offices built here at Holy Spirit back in 2019 and the appeal money helped provide for assistance and making sure that all the ducks were in a row, that the architects followed the guidelines the diocese has established to ensure a just and fair system. We 
there's that. We, we've also been able to, we will be putting more roofs up on this parish property here at Holy Spirit soon. Roofs over on the rec the old rectory as well as over the garages. In Holy Trinity, we've also put on new roofs on the school building as well as the church. So when we have these, these big projects, the diocese assists us in making sure that things line up nicely and that we are getting um, the right value for what we're putting in. I'm also thinking too how back in 2019, when the new sound system was, was installed here, the diocese appeal provided the money, um, excuse me, the money, excuse me, the oversight to have it put in. The money came from you, the generous parishioners and Holy Spirit. A uh, funny note, another funny note, thinking of how the diocese can be on money provided for our laptops that provide for live streaming. I'm happy to give credit for it when it works. When it doesn't work, eh, you know, but, but in any event, far off of that, uh, the laptops do their job, and so that provides the live streaming as experience for those who are watching from home, and on a serious note, it does help, particularly when we do have masses that are live streamed for funeral liturgies, that has been very helpful, and that comes from dice and the real money, so the jokes aside about the technology being very temperamental, that jokes aside, it has been very helpful in the past when we've needed to provide a live stream experience. I, I could go on for quite a while, but hopefully what I have shared does express that yes, the diocese appeal helps us. I'm very grateful for it because what it does is, it, 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 um, as a priest, it provided my education so this way. When I, when I went through my six years of formation for priesthood, even though I went through school that was similar to like being a doctor to a certain extent, Thankfully, I didn't graduate with seminary diplomas the way a doctor would. So I'm very grateful for that. And again, that's because of your generosity. It, it provides the framework, it provides resources needed so that parishes like here is the Holy Spirit, as well as our Lynn's community, a Holy Trinity, can be able to do the good work that God calls us to do. Thank you for your generosity. It's most appreciated. Again, for more information, we do have those sheets available at the three entrances, exits, as well as additional envelopes down there, too. You can always go to the parish website or Facebook page, or if you need to have the materials printed and sent to you, feel free to, feel free to call the office and as I'm volunteering them to do that now. Sorry, guys, if you're watching. But anyway, but feel free to do that, and they can always send you more information if you need it from either either website. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
inspired by this call, we present our petitions to God. Our response will be, Lord, hear our church for efforts to preserve the holy place in Jerusalem and beyond for those who dedicate their lives to this goal we sing to the Lord, Lord hear our for military leaders and heads of state and for those who advise them in their duties we sing to the Lord, Lord as we celebrate Clergy Appreciation Day, especially for Father Matt and his ministry, ministry to the people of our late parishes. We sing to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those requests that have been included in our Book of Intentions, we sing to the Lord. Lord, especially the sick, the dying, and those who have died. We especially pray for Marilyn Zambella, Rose Giacomo, Rita Ann Bacon, and the Scott family. We sing to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, all that is good and holy comes from you. We ask you to make us grateful for the good that will come. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. During the presentation of the gifts, we please write in our offertory, which is number 481. 481, hungry dollar.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the words of the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that from these acts of devotedness that we pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just for our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, little people, formed as one, by the unity of the Trinity, in the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as a church, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Spouse, 
the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you in your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be enchanted in my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the, with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so do we make us shares of his divine nature, who lives and reigns throughout our endeavor. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us today for this liturgy, which shall be a very blessed rest of the day today, a very blessed weekend. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Say the Lord the Archangel, the Holy Spirit, the Lord the the at All Saints Church were invited to a special Lenten study and prayer. At the close of the course, Pastor Nixon invited the participants to write sentence prayers. Here are some of those prayers. Lord, help me to relax about insignificant details beginning at 7.41.23 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. God, Help me to consider people's feelings, even if most of them are hypersensitive. <laughs> Father, help me take responsibility for my own actions, even though they're not usually my fault. <laughs> dear God, help me try not, excuse me, dear God, help me not to try to run everything. But if you need some help, feel free to ask me. Lord, help me to be more laid back, and help me to do it exactly right. <laughs> Heavenly Father, please help me take things more seriously, especially having a good time. God, give me patience, and I mean right now. <laughs> Lord, help me not to be perfectionist. Did I spell that correctly? <laughs> Last but not least, Lord, Keep me open to other people to other people's ideas, wrong though they may be.
Yeah. No. 